Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, all things Middle Earth Theory, and if you did not know, the two-year anniversary of Rise 4 is starting in just a few days. As of this video going out, it's starting in less than a day. I want to talk through the few things they have at least told us we can expect for this event. I want to hear what you guys think about it down below. So far, my immediate thoughts are kind of underwhelming. The first year, last year, there was a big stream they did where they talked through a lot of different things. They teased things, they teased commanders, uh, many of which things did not actually end up happening or have not happened yet. So a little bit of beef with that what happened last year, but it was very hyped up and it felt very, very special. Um, I haven't heard of any such stream happening this year or anything like that, uh, but we do have a few activities they're promising us. So I wanna talk through those in just a second, but let me know your thoughts down below, but let's go ahead and jump into the post. <laughs> Now we'll make this short and sweet because I think most of these things are pretty recycled. So we've done them before. You might have seen them before. If you're new to the game, I'll try and explain them. Um, and again, these things are in the main discord if you want to look through them and read in, in really good detail. But the first thing they talk about is the Hobbiton Culinary Festival. This is the event with Merry and Pippin where you gather ingredients throughout the duration of the event. Previously, I think it was done through sweeping, but in this uh, version, I think they say that you just do it through uh, daily tasks. You can also ask uh, other tacticians for ingredients. So your world chat will be spammed with food exchange requests, which is very, very annoying. But you get those ingredients and then there are recipes. You can put them in a certain order in the campfire and pretty much you change. The, what it looks like here is you're going to change the uh, the wind and the the heat of the fire. And if you do it correctly with the right ingredients, you'll make uh, something again for the event. So there are a number of different recipes unlocking each day so you can keep making those as you go. And they'll probably be very minor rewards like 50 gem, whatever it is, uh, type things for completing through this. So for me personally, this is one of my least favorite little mini games they've done. There's a lot of other things I've enjoyed more. They've had better rewards or just been more enjoyable than this one. So not a strong foot forward in my opinion. I don't know why they're bringing this back specifically over other things that I think people have liked more. Maybe you like the cooking. Let me know down below. Uh, but that is the first thing we can expect in the two year anniversary. Next up is the Madam Peddler's Marvelous Adventure. This, through sweeping, you're going to have a chance to obtain story fragments. And once you collect all the fragments, you'll unlock five tales of adventure about the Mathem Peddler. This reminds me of the whole Nazgul necklace thing. If you guys are familiar with that, there's this Nazgul necklace. Um, there's been a couple similar to it, like this uh, Malor, uh, Malor Tree Cultivation Manual. So basically, and the game crashed. Basically, you get these things, whether it be this Malor Tree Cultivation Manual or the Nazgul necklace and you get some details like, you know, all this text about the Nazgul, or in this case, this was about the Mount. Right, apparently you can't click on that book in blue stacks. I don't know, but again, we're gonna get stories in the Mountain Peddler. You can sweep to uh, gain those fragments and you can also exchange fragments with other players because you can get duplicates. So uh, will there be rewards associated with it? Probably a little bit, but again, those things in the past where you just got like a little commemorative token and some wall of text like weren't super exciting either so not something that i'm like excited to have back and it's not even like it's about like a cool commander or someone in lord of the rings it's the Mathem peddler so again kind of overwhelming two out of two that are overwhelming for me but that is the Mathem peddler's marvelous adventure next up we have the recollection it says the Mathem peddler presents you with a weighty scroll that documents your journey through middle earth over the past year during the last year some have engaged in battles aiding their allies in capturing territories Driving for victory, uh, others have ventured and explored Middle Earth, learning more about its stories and legends. There are also those who have become friends and shared unforgettable memories by helping each other. So you're going to get some kind of scroll recapping your last year. Probably similar to this, they posted this annual data summary, um, which basically is, they're going to show um, which commanders have been used most in battle and which units recruited the most and which uh, neutral has been defeated the most and all these like statistical things. So uh, I think we're going to have this on a large scale like this for the entire game. And then you're going to have your own personal one that's going to show in a year last year what things you've done. So uh, that's kind of cool. I don't mind seeing the stuff. Again, more neutral about this than anything, but you will have a kind of, you know, look back on the last year and what you have done. So take it for what you will. And uh, second to last, the last two I'm okay with. So we'll see what you guys think. But uh, this one is the Matham Peddler Special Exchange. It says during the Matham House Special, you'll obtain festival tokens. These tokens right here, if I zoom in, you're going to get these and you can exchange for, it looks like random gifts, um, random equipment, Matham medals, looks like some blue uh, respect items over there for a number of these coins. Now, the question is, is, you know, is there going to be more options than this? Is this, you know, over the course of two weeks, gonna be, are you going to be able to get all of them? 
again, this actually seems kind of decent compared to other events that have like had really no rewards. So if you're getting the Mathem, some guaranteed purple gear and guaranteed respect, I think it's okay. But I guess the question will be, will there be more than what's shown here? And will it be possible to get everything here? Do you have to pick and choose that you just want to purple the gear, nothing else? Or can you get everything? Because I think that'll be what makes it worth it or kind of just like mediocre rewards. So uh, it's interesting. And again, I would love for a two-year anniversary if they actually gave away like gold gear in this and gold respect. It's the two-year anniversary of the game. So like it's not going to kill them to give out one gold gear chest that you can pick the type of gear you get after playing through the event. I think that would be really cool, especially for, for PDP players or low spenders, getting a guaranteed type that you want could be very, very cool. So uh, I would, I'm hoping that they surprise us. I'm not expecting it, but to me for a two year in every other game that I've ever played, the anniversaries are such a big thing and they give out so many rewards because they want players logging in and playing. They want people sticking around and thinking, oh, I want to stay for the next year because this is a really cool thing. But uh, we'll see if they actually do decent rewards or if it's just going to be uh, what what is shown here. So we'll see on that. And last but not least is the fireworks celebration. We've had this at almost every single event we've had. I like the fireworks. Um, you can uh, get your own fireworks and shoot them off. It's kind of a fun thing. My only gripe, devs, my only gripe is why can we not just keep our fireworks? If we play an event and buy them with whatever tokens we do in the event or buy them with gold or even some people like refresh and use gems or whatever it is, just let us keep the fireworks. I think that'd be a cool thing to have special fireworks from past events that you could shoot off or do at certain times and show people. People like that kind of collection type of thing, at least I, the people I've talked to. So if you're going to do firework celebrations at all the events, that would be a, a cool thing to actually have a firework that maybe even a firework that you could use like on cooldown a couple times a day from the event that doesn't expire that shows that you played in this event or uh, again, very, very small thing, but I think it'd be something that people would go. I, I actually have a cool thing like the, if you go to the game, um, the little text bubble from the spring festival, I'll pull it up here. So as you can see, some of the text bubbles here are different colors. It's from the spring festival. You could play through and pick one to get. So you kind of are stuck with that. And it's kind of a thing that I've seen people ask about later and say, how do I get that? And it's, it's a cool commemorative thing that I think is actually seen and kind of interesting as compared to, you know, the Nazgul necklace or something that's such in inventory. So if there were more commemorative things like fireworks, that one that you kept or whatever, I think they'd be cool. But again, I don't expect it. I'm just kind of talking out loud about, you know, what I think could make this event a little bit better. But anyway, those are the few three or four things we have. I do think the exchange has some potential to be kind of nice, but so far compared to last year, it's it's underwhelming for me. So I'm curious what you guys think and if you think we're going to get any more things or if this is just kind of, you know, if this is it and we'll just move on from here. So let me know what you guys think. As always, I'll see you in a future video. Check out the channel if you've not. We've been streaming a lot lately, so hop in if you see me live. We're playing in our season, have a lot of fun. So feel free to hop in and say hi, but I'll see you guys in a future video. Take care.